Now, we have someone who many of the unions here supported last year in an election, and he has been an outstanding advocate for the workers and the communities of this city. He has been outspoken, outspoken in his criticisms of some of the economic policies of this city. He wants to know why, why workers are being asked to take cuts, why community services are going to be cut. And I am so proud that he is the controller of this city. And I am so proud to introduce my friend, Mr. John Liu. Good evening, New York. Good evening, brothers and sisters. You know, you, you guys got front row seats here. But the sea of people goes all the way beyond anything we can see here. There are thousands of people out here really looking out for all New Yorkers. And the point, a lot of people have made the point already, the bottom line is this, that we all understand that it's a difficult time. We all understand that the recession is probably worse than it has been in generations. But the fact of the matter is that there is still so much waste in government. We have billions of dollars of contracts that are being given to big companies when they're doing the work that we already have plenty of people already in place that could do the work. And those contracts keep getting let out and the people keep getting letting go, keep getting let go. That is not the way to keep a stable government serving all of the people of New York City. That's one of the points that as the cuts get exacted in the budget, there are places that can be cut without hurting the men and women who have worked for years, in fact, in many cases, decades, serving the people of New York City. That's what we're talking about here. That's why Chairman Nespoli and the Municipal Labor Committee, they're working very hard to keep intact the vital services that the people of this city need. That's why my friend Mike Mulgrew and so many other la leaders here today, everybody is working hard. We all understand that times are tough. But you don't, take, you don't say times are tough and then go straight to the people who have been working so long to help the people of this city. There are lots of solutions. There are many members of the city councils who have proposed alternatives to the mayor's plan, and they have fallen on deaf ears. That is not the way to go. That is why we're at, we have to be out here, thousands strong, to send a message that we are all committed to the future of New York City, a solid, fruitful future that we all want for ourselves and our families. So I want to thank you all for being out here today. Here at City Hall and in Albany, we need the right decisions to be made. And the right decisions include the committed people who have worked so long for our city and for the people of this great city. So thank you very much for being out here. And thanks to the band also. Thank you.